Well, go on my people, so a few days ago I did a story about um, Curly Locks, some twins of twins that um, was in the star talking about the government should put um, the 17 million dollars um, towards KPH in hospital instead of putting so much money towards the sign because um, KPH is in such a deplorable condition and when I did the story um, I t tweeted to Curly Locks himself, I tweeted to on stage I tweeted to the two um, members of parliament and I tweeted to Bontikil and a few others you know what I mean just to name a few because I want everyone um, to, to um, push the story and Winfred Williams saw the story I think and um, did not give me credit for but he interviewed Curly Locks and Curly Locks was there to push um, the story and um, even though he said he wasn't gonna take credit for um, the, the pushback that Winfred Williams said the government got and um, was reconsidering using that 17 million but I think it was um, Curly Locks um, voice that um, was heard because I for one saw the story and I like it and I like what he was saying because it made proper sense and I did a story about it and I um, send it to them because I needed someone to um, really look at what he was saying and Winfred Williams seized the opportunity and gave him the platform right now and I have to applaud Winfred Williams for doing this but why is Winfred Williams not giving me the credit to be um, an integral part in him interviewing Curly Locks or Curly Locks should see it because I was the one who introduced them together in this tweet. Give him relevance. Curly Locks. And this is, has been an ongoing issue with me and Winfred Williams. Because Winfred Williams had as the platform. And um, he has been taking some of my stories. And even though when I tweet them. He is not um, giving me the credit of um, tweeting them. Or by retweeting me or such. You know what I mean? So I am saying to Winfred Williams, even though you're um, doing such, um, giving someone the opportunity to um, voice their 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 concern or um, just giving someone the opportunity to use your platform, why not give me the same opportunity? Just as how um, you're seeing me and watching what I'm doing because big up to you because... I have known that you have been a subscriber for over three months now for all who don't know um, Winfred Williams have been a subscriber on stage TV have been a subscriber to um, Real Mackay TV So I know that he's watching me You know what I mean? So I'm saying that if you're a fan of me just like oh, I'm a fan of you And you're seeing these things that um, I'm putting out Because it has been an ongoing issue And if you can go back and check um, most of my video that um, was done about on stage um, It was um, in parallel Even though I did it before years, you know what I mean? So I don't know if you're following me or I'm following you, but the evidence is there, people. You know what I mean? So big up Curly Locks. And people, he um, had a, has a podcast that he says that um, he's doing called The Rebellious Show. Just get into this. The Rebellious Show, people, I am a big fan of Curly Locks and Twins of Twins because when I was in school, I used to um, listen to them um, all volume. And when I was listening to all volume of them, these guys were inspiring me and um, they influenced me a lot because they were intelligent. And once someone was intelligent and able to dissect certain things in, 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 in such humor, humorous way, I had to applaud that. You know what I mean? And me and my brethren, them used to sit and listen to that um, on our lunchtime in school. So big up to Curly Locks so really... Um, being in the garrisons and um, trying to uplift these um, youth that's um, in the abyss of, of ignorance just to put it in a, um, a nutshell form you know what I mean so big up yourself Curly Locks as I'm, I'm saying people Winfred Williams just need to give me my credit where credit is due you know what I mean so big up to all of my subscribers them peace I'm out work in the country where you have to look pan. And him do great work, so I even do him there at jail, him still be the champion DJ boy, yeah. and some boy we said them didn't want him go jail. The biggest dancehall analyst in the world, Ninja Man. The biggest 
dancehall analyst in the world, Ninja Man. I am saying that. Wilfred Williams. Take me on, on that if you wish.